Yeah, we should have background music on or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this song for you, David. <laughs> David, did you yeah. choose um, the first of December specifically because it's World AIDS? Yes, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. fantastic. Yeah, on the 5th of June, and I'll mention that in the presentation, on the 5th of June, that was 40 years since the world first found out about what was then going to be labelled AIDS. Um, so I would have liked to have done something then, but when I missed that date, I thought, no, well, the next best one is the 1st of December. Yeah. But in a way, I've shot myself in the foot. Yeah. I've shot myself in the foot, though, because so many of my friends and colleagues um, in various sexual health services, they've all got their own events on today, so everybody's busy. <laughs> but... Uh... But, but David, I think we've got quite a few people already, and it's not even five years. Oh gosh, um, this is great. I think we're just obviously waiting for for Karen. Great. Um, I'm here. Hello, Karen. Hi. I see we only have an hour for this, so, um, you know, I won't, uh, I won't take up too much time at the beginning, I promise, and then I'll hand over to Karen, who will introduce you, David. Okay. I've tried to keep it as short as I can, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, that's really lovely. Everyone, I'm absolutely delighted um, to welcome you all to Professor David Evans's inaugural professorial lecture held on the 1st of December 2021, which is, which is of course, World AIDS Day. So um, I know Denise usually has um, some short announcements um, just before we start. Um, and I just wanted to explain to everyone that what we'll do is We'll start off with Karen introducing David, and then um, David will present. And then afterwards, there'll be a short Q&A session, so everyone will have an opportunity to ask questions, if that's okay, David. Yeah, of course. And then uh, Professor Derek Moore yeah, will give a closing remarks. Um, but if you've got any queries, just please just put them in the chat and we'll get to you. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Denise. So I'm now going to hand over to Professor Karen Cleaver to introduce David. Thanks, Rosanna, and um, it gives me absolute pleasure to uh, to introduce David, who has been uh, a colleague for more than a decade, because I can't remember how long now, David. Um, and, uh, and and it's an absolutely delight to see loads and loads of people here, especially colleagues who've joined us externally. And David, I don't want to worry you, but I think Liz is in the room as well, who's our PhD supervisor, so that's great. Um, so, just to say a little bit about David then, um, David left, uh, left school at 16 with two O-levels and five CSEs, so started off well on his academic career. Um, he sat the then uh, what was called the General Nursing Council entrance test um, and uh, commenced his orthopaedic nursing at the age of 17 and then went on to become a state registered nurse subsequently at the age of 19. He then left nursing, as many of you know, and spent a decade with the Catholic Church um, and uh, doing seven years priestly studies, including direct entry into the second year of a theology degree at the University of Kent. And this was followed by pastoral work in South Wales, where uh, I'm sure David enjoyed his passion for rugby at the same time. Um, he returned to nursing in 1989 and uh, worked as, on an HIV inpatient service and commenced his uh, teaching career in 1990. Um, he has uh, obtained a string of professional and academic qualifications ever since. He holds an MPhil from the University of Wales, Cardiff, entitled The Psychic Shadows of HIV and AIDS. 
and the role of social representation in post-registration nurse education. That was in 1997. And a professional doctorate in education <coughs> from the University of Greenwich in 2011, researching sexual health education for nurses in England. Um, he became a National Teaching Fellow in 2014 and famously um, was appointed an OBE by Her Majesty the Queen in 2017 for services to nursing and sexual health education. Um, and he heard there it is. <laughs> we never heard the end of it. <laughs> and that was one of my principal fellows of the Higher Education Academy and full professor both in 2018. So it is a huge pleasure um, to, uh, to hand over to David for this inaugural lecture. So over to you, David. Lovely. Thank you so much, Karen.